Six Venomous, Capital Architect, Six Venomous, founder of Stylo Network, Zulu Norm, an esoteric artist, podcast master, lyrical producer, break dancer, artist, agent, counselor, innovator, aka hip hop puppet master. We'll see how the architect did the domino effect, one after the next. Hip hop is, is all five elements of the culture of what we do. Rap, which is recording artists pretending. I got their same shine, Flash. Like Grandmaster Flash still played today. Still be talked about in interviews. I never heard him mention Mario. Africa Bambata still do his thing. Sometime I might hear him mention Mario every now and then. But it ain't like he's the most. The cool hurt was a friend to Mario. He talked to Mario all the time. I watched him. I was a young guy. I was he told a- me about this person, and he told me about that historical event. He told me about these things build the empire, these things bring structure. When you go to, to a Shaolin temple, they tell you about the ancients. The Bruce Lee told you about Yip Man. You know, if you don't do that, then you cannot become more stronger because you become stronger the more, the more, it's like when you're building something, the more it. Here, here it is to go like this. I'm the best, ain't nobody can beat me. I'm a 10th degree red belt, I'm a grandmaster. And this is like part of hip hop that people don't remember. Wu Tang Clan keeps this tradition alive today. Why are they so into Shaolin? Why are they so into? Because this was the first thing we were in hip hop. This was the beginning. I need to say that for you to understand the cultural significance of how our culture came to be. Bruce Lee and his attitude, his character, is what hip hop was trying to mimic. I'm the best, ain't nobody can beat me. Listen to me. Boom. It was a tribe, like back in Africa, when they when they played the drums. Boom, boom. Or a Pentecostal church when they banged the tamarind. Or the reverend started singing and the gospel started moving. The feet started snapping, hands started clapping, and the spirit starts to move through that church. That's a living power that's in you from God. The day want suppressed because it's a dangerous power. It's a avenging spirit. It's a powerful nine living spirits move through you. You understand? There, this ninja just start. Could even mess with me at that point. We're gonna transition and we're gonna go to Chuck Chuck City Cool, which was forbidden territory. Mario was from Bronxdale. Bronx River did not get along with Bronxdale. Couldn't cross those boundaries. My career was at stake. You know what? I was going to risk it and take the chance. Now, let's escalate it and moving on to the next realm there. What is known as the so-called graffiti. When you see the graffiti on the walls, you see the graffiti on the trains, and the graffiti and everybody tagging up. We are now chronologizing and archiving our likes and our dislikes, our heights as a people, and our falls as a people. Okay, this is now chronologizing and putting history, our story, on the walls of all of the society. Okay, but they have it bastardized and have it masqueraded that graffiti is negativity. Which is graffiti. the same thing that the ancients have done back in the middle of the day, the hieroglyphics. They told the story on the wall. It gives the writers. Which is what we are doing now with, how, with, with so-called graffiti, aerosol art, whatever you choose to call it. So we are not doing anything more than what our forefathers and ancestors have put before us and gave us to do. We are continuing their work by putting on the wall what we are doing. Exactly. What your ancient forefathers were, you still are today. Question. From back in the day, way back in the day, when you guys first came up with hip hop, did you have the concept that it was going to be when Planet Rock, when you said Planet Rock, did you already know it was going to rock with Planet? That's what I got out of you. Well, we definitely was trying to just, just break something down and get to the, 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 the black, Latino community. And then as we started moving and traveling around our great planet, the whole world, getting on to a whole international place. So we said the planet rock was all planet on a big rock. So you want everybody to go out to your dreams and get out to see, chase them. You know what I mean? So you have to reproach the ones who started hip hop. There's an argument, some people say, oh, hip-hop started in ancient times. No, hip-hop started in the 70s when it identified itself as a culture, when all those elements came together and identified themselves as one moving social force. Now that's the beginning of hip-hop. Anything before that is just separate elements running around. Like the dancers are just the dancers, the graphs, the 
DJ, like that, that that's just what people. First, there was no such word as hip hop back then. Mm-hmm. Fact. Second, hip hop as we know it now is four main elements, with a fifth element being, you know, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. And at that time, a b boy had nothing to do with a DJ. A DJ had nothing to do with an aerosol artist. So uh, I didn't see it as a cultural unification yet. Very important that we understand that. Oh, good. I came and checked it out. It's still here. I didn't lose it. This is the last, last of its kind. You know what I mean? That's why I was hoping I didn't lose it. But yet, I still got a copy. This is like the Flex's item one. You know what I mean? So, nope, I didn't lose it. Came back, and it's still. the game and Madison Avenue found out they could rape us and make money off us by advertising our music and their goods and services through our music and our dances, that's when the game got changed. You know what I mean? That's when the brothers and sisters who had on the road, the, uh, the African medallions started saying, well, I'm a black man. Yeah, but who owns the, the you know the, the plantation factories of these gold? Like, like, like do these rappers own the? Do, 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 these, do these rappers own the gold things, or, or are they just wearing and buying it? So? But don't these rappers own these things? Rappers own shit, no? Oh. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, and I'm not gonna say excuse my language. I'm gonna sell it like it is. What do you fear is gonna happen? We'll wind up going to jail somewhere, man. Like still. Okay. Uh, yeah. Don't leave me now. I think if you could read it, that would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Now the next room that it's gonna go to is gonna be what is known as the art of emceeing. Okay, and we went, that's the spoken word. And we went right back to the spoken word. And that's where the first grandmaster of rap came from. Then the next realm gets into the major realm. Okay, knowledge. That's the, that's the, that's the major, 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 major. Well, that's the major, major element, but yet it's not spoken of, it's not shown upon. Knowledge is the fifth element, but it's really the first. Yes. Because without knowledge, none of the other ones work. Yeah. Because if I didn't have the knowledge to stretch a record, how would I do it? If I didn't know that if I pull a record back and put it forward and move the crossfader and do this and that, how would I know the record is scratch? If I didn't have the knowledge to do it. But how would I know how to breathe if I was rhyming? If I'm rhyming and, I, and I'm just... Why am I taking the time to breathe? Okay, you see. Exactly. You grab that mic. Put your hand in your ear. your You have to learn about sequence of timing. Learning about how to actually pronounce the word. Okay. So now it goes to throw your hands in the ear. Why are you throwing your hands in the ear? Why are you waving them like you just don't care? And why do I ask the fans to keep them there? Now let it keep moving. Let it keep moving. 